estate to real estate. It's Money Matters with Dina. Right, let's say I'm the I'm the guy on the other end of, on the other end of the phone. You called me up. I just told you that uh, that I got laid off um, while my wife was sick um, and pregnant um, a year and a half ago. But I fell so behind because of bills. Um, I got a job again. I'm working, um, but I still owe some money. Uh, I'm trying not to file for bankruptcy, and and I really want to keep my house. This is where my kids go to school. Um, this is where I grew up in the same neighborhood. Uh, what do you say to me? Well, I ask questions to see realistically what your comfort level is. Um, our goal is to see if we can get the borrowers to at least make their old mortgage payment, what they, they used to pay before they missed. Oftentimes, that's they're happy to do so. So that's typically what I try to accomplish. If they're not able to do that right away, I will work something out with them. I may put them on a smaller uh, payment schedule for three to six months to let them start making payments, get back in the habits of doing so, and then have their payment adjust to what it was before. So we walk through every scenario with them to make sure they're comfortable. And with regards to uh, their payments that were missed, we basically put that as a, as a balloon in the back of their payment. So that's always going to be there. And basically, they just pick up right where they left off. And I tell you, it's touching because oftentimes um, people start crying on the phone, you know, because they say, oh, my God, I've been trying to do this for so long. I've gotten denied so many times by the banks. And this was like a godsend that just came to us. Yeah. So, so it's really touching to be able to help people. Oh, that's 